Hello and welcome to Palace Intrigue. I am your host, Mark Francis. Is Harry looking to move to New York City? The Mirror's sources say Harry feels much more at home in New York, which happens to be a lot closer to London, the source says. The truth is he desperately misses London and being in the city helps. Plus, he could easily go home for a long weekend if they lived in New York. Megan's so happy to be back in California, she can't imagine leaving. With Megan being all about Hollywood, it would make zero sense to move, and she's frustrated Harry won't let this go. There is a divide between the couple on this issue, but they will soon start looking for a property of their own near London, and Harry is very much leading this. They won't be asking the king for a property on the royal estate due to the issue that arose from Frogmore Cottage. GB News tells how Prince William is committed to finding Meghan Markle's £140,000 engagement ring due to his promise to preserve his mother's legacy. Jewelry expert Stefano Pietrini told GB News, Naturally, divorce rumours have arisen regarding the removal of Meghan Markle's engagement ring. However, it has been revealed that this removal has been completely unrelated to her relationship with the Duke of Sussex. Unfortunately, there have been issues with the setting of the ring, which has resulted in the stones becoming loose. As two of the stones are part of Princess Diana's collection, there is even more urgency when it comes to protecting the ring. Any issues that risk the safety of these stones are immediately dealt with to prevent their loss and damage, which explains the recent absence of Meghan's ring. Prince William's primary concern for the location of Meghan's engagement ring has solely to do with the sentimental attachment of the late Princess Diana's diamonds. It is no surprise that William is committed to preserving the legacy of his mother, her jewellery being a large part of that. Diana ensured her collection was inherited by both William and Harry, so they have an even share of her jewellery. An insider tells Closer magazine, Prince William and Kate are feeling incredibly resentful towards Meghan and Harry for leaving them to pick up the work they dropped when they moved to the States. The extra workload that's been handed to them is huge. It's given them even more responsibility, but also had a huge impact on their marriage and family life. And at times it can feel like they are cracking under this relentless pressure. With less time at home together and having to spend more time apart, they feel constantly torn apart in different directions and they insist that wouldn't be happening if Harry and Meghan hadn't abandoned their royal duties. The King reportedly had emergency meetings to discuss a solution to the ironic problem of there not being enough royals to go around, despite the calls for the slimmed-down monarchy. According to a source, Beatrice and Eugenie, who are not official working royals, but sometimes carry out royal engagements, could be called upon as the firm conducts its tour of the Commonwealth. The source told OK Magazine, emergency meetings have been held to come up with a solution to fulfill the growing number of royal engagements both here in the UK and abroad. There needs to be some younger blood to reach the younger generation, and the only candidates available are Beatrice and Eugenie. Palace Intrigue will be right back. The Express reported the royal family's DNA profiles have been seized by a hacker named Gollum, who has stolen the genetic profiles from DNA testing firm 23andMe and published the data on a cybercrime marketplace. Gollum claims the information contains profiles of the royals and some of the wealthiest people living in the US and Western Europe. It is unclear which members of the royal family are included in the hack. Hello Magazine profiled 19-year-old Meg Bellamy, who will channel the wonderful Kate Middleton in the upcoming season of The Crown. Who is The Crown's Meg Bellamy? Meg got the role after submitting a self-taped audition for a casting call put out on social media. She announced the role on Instagram saying, Pinch me please. So excited to announce that I will be playing Kate Middleton in Series 6 of Netflix The Crown. It is such an honour to be joining the most incredible cast and crew and I will strive to do Kate justice. Thank you so much for everyone for your kind messages of support and encouragement. I appreciate every single one. These past few days have been a whirlwind, and I am just so excited and grateful to be beginning this dream of a journey. 22-year-old Ed McVeigh plays Prince William. On his Instagram, he wrote, Ah, the big news is now out. I'm absolutely buzzing to be given the opportunity to play Prince William in The Crown in Series 6, alongside the amazing Meg Bellamy. Going to be an amazing shoot. Can't wait to learn all I can. The Crown returns on November 16th. And there you have it. If you'd like to email us, our address is thepalaceintrigue at gmail.com. Please head on over to YouTube, youtube youtube.com. Do a search for Palace Intrigue there and hit that subscribe button for us. You don't have to listen to the show again, but it really helps us out. I'm Mark Francis. My thanks to John McDermott. This is Palace Intrigue and good times. (laughs) 